the remote learning experience. Today's lesson is for, what day is it? Wednesday, April 15th, okay? So I hope you guys had a great weekend and a great flex day. I hope you were able to catch up on some work that we've had um, over the past couple of weeks or um, what have you. So um, remember today is our office hours day. So from 1 to 2 p.m. today, um, you can log on through Zoom with Ms. Stump, Ms. Esborn, and myself. Um, at least one of us will be there um, so that we can be there to answer any questions that you have. Or if you just want to come on to jump in with us and kind of catch up, that's absolutely fine too. We love seeing you guys and we love hearing from you. Okay? But today's lesson is going to be breaking down the structure of DNA. Okay, so I had you guys do a bit of vocabulary and some notes on DNA, and then I went over that sheet yesterday, or not yesterday, Monday, but today I want to go a little bit more in depth on DNA and, um, excuse me, uh, kind of go over that structure more because us not being in school together, I think it's good to kind of um, have this kind of instruction so that you guys can see what it's really about, and maybe I can clarify any confusion that you had while reading um, the book. Okay, so DNA is a very important molecule that we have within our bodies, okay? And the reason is, is that it contains an organism's genetic information, okay? And that genetic information is pretty much instructions. Okay, and so those instructions help know, help our cells know what they need to do, okay, because the cells are able to follow the instructions given from the DNA, okay. So indirectly, the DNA, let's say you have a stomach cell. The DNA can tell a stomach cell, hey, there's food in this person's stomach, we need to start digesting that food, okay. So without the DNA, the cells don't really know what to what to do with themselves, okay? So they need that DNA in order to get that genetic information in order to carry out specific instructions, okay? So DNA is found in the nucleus of cells, all right? And the nucleus is that part right in the center of the cells and it contains that DNA. And the last important thing I wanted to talk about in terms of basic structure is DNA it has what we call a double helix structure. Okay, and a double helix just looks like a twisted ladder. Okay, so I have a picture that I drew of DNA replicate, or sorry, not DNA replication, DNA right here. Okay, so it kind of looks like a ladder that you've just twisted. All right, so these strands right here are the rungs, or sorry, the sides of the ladder, and the inside are the rungs of the ladder. Okay, because DNA is actually a double-stranded molecule. So it not only has one, but it also has two strands. Okay, so I'm actually going to put this second strand in blue so that you can kind of see more that there's two strands. I'm not doing a very good job, but... There's two different strands, okay? And they're connected together right along the middle, okay? So that's kind of the basics of DNA, but now I wanna go a little bit more in depth with the structure of DNA. This one, I think. Sometimes this takes a while. Here we go. So. This is the DNA molecule that I was kind of talking about on the previous page. And if you've noticed, I've actually done a better job showing that there's a blue strand right here in the DNA and there's a green strand right here. And those strands combine together at the center, okay? So DNA is what we call a nucleic acid. And a nucleic acid is just a molecule that contains genetic information. It's 
sometimes my pen can be a little funky. Genetic information. Okay, so DNA is a type of nucleic acid. And we learned a little bit, oh gosh, don't do this to me. Hang on a sec. Whew, that was close. All right, so we learned about nucleic acids a little bit when we talked about the four different types of macromolecules. Remember, there's carbohydrates, there's fats, there's protein, and then there's nucleic acids. And this is kind of the last um, type of macromolecule, and that is nucleic acids. And DNA is a nucleic acid, okay, because it contains genetic information. There are other kinds of nucleic acids, like another molecule called RNA, but we're not going to get into that, um, at least today. We're going to only talk about DNA today, okay? So DNA is made up of a basic structure called a nucleotide. Okay, so DNA is a series of connected nucleotides. I'm gonna write that down. Okay, so a nucleotide is just a specific structure in DNA that almost repeats itself until you have a very long DNA molecule, okay? And there are three different parts of the nucleotide. Nucleotide. Okay, there is a sugar there is a phosphate, and there is a base, okay? So those terms might not mean much right now, but those are kind of the three basic structures, okay? It's not super important to know that, but it is important to know that DNA is made up of little smaller structures called nucleotides, okay? So the sugar is actually this pentagon right here, all right, and it's in blue, so I'm gonna label it sugar, all right? The phosphate is just those red circles, okay? And a base can be found right here with the green, okay? So these are the three basic parts of a nucleotide, okay? So I'm just gonna outline a nucleotide. So this right here would be one nucleotide. Okay, so what's really important about a nucleotide and within DNA is actually the base. Okay, so a base is just kind of a part of the nucleotide that really makes the DNA unique. Okay, because there's different bases and depending on what order they go in, that kind of what is what makes you, you and unique from other people. Okay, so there are four different bases in a nucleotide, okay? I'm going to call them just by, or actually, no, I'll write out the full names and then abbreviate them after. But the four different bases are named adenine, A for short, thymine, oh, God, this pen is making me mad. T for short, guanine, G for short, and cytosine. Or C for short, okay? So these are the four different kinds of bases that you can find within DNA. And depending on the order of these bases, that kind of determines what you look like and what your what makes your DNA unique from someone else's DNA, okay? So I'm just gonna move my computer for a sec. 
Alrighty, so if you notice, in this structure of this DNA molecule, okay, we have one strand of DNA, or one strand, yeah, one strand of the DNA that's going up this way, and the other strand of DNA is kind of going down this way, okay? And then there are bases that are connected in the middle by this black line right here, okay? And that's because bases can only bond specifically to other bases, okay? And the rule for that is that A, or adenine, will always bind to thymine, T, and cytosine, C, will always bond to guanine, G, okay? So they're very specific, they're kind of snooty, all right? They only like to bond with other bases, okay? So, a good way to kind of remember which bases bond with which is this little mnemonic right here. I don't know if this is a mnemonic, but. Actually, capitalize this. So if you remember this, you can know which bond bases bond to one another, okay? And that mnemonic is apple in the tree and car in the garage. This tells you that A will always bond to T, apple in the tree, and C will always bond with G, car in the garage, okay? So that's just a simple little thing I would write down somewhere that can help you remember which bases bond to one another, okay? So I think that's all I really wanted to go over with the basic structure of DNA. And I'm actually going to give you a sheet that you are going to fill out that will help you um, know which bases bond to which bases, okay? So on that sheet, you'll have a specified base, but on the other side, you won't get the base, so you'll have to figure out um, where the bases go. So I'll explain that all in the worksheet that I give to you. But yeah, this is going to be it for today. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your Wednesday, and I really hope to see you guys on our Zoom office hours. So take care. Make sure you get outside today. It's very nice out.